Hello everybody, Sergeant Soldier here to back with Brick and Rust, and today we're going to be talking about hiding our high external walls inside of our base, or encasing them, if you want to describe it like that, it's all the same, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to start with a bunch of foundations here on the ground, see? Now they have to be pretty low, they can't be that much higher than this, otherwise the high externals won't place, so what you do is you start with your very first one here, and you want to place it so that it's not going over the edge on this side. And I think we're pretty good on this. Yep, we're pretty good. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to go this way. The base will be behind us here, so this is why our wall is going like that. And then if you want, either A, you can put a second wall like this, or B, since you can't place a wall through the high external wall like that, you can actually place it here in the next available space. And then if you do it right, that. There we go. You can get your second wall to actually go right through it. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, for one very simple reason. No, no. The wall. Let's say uh, someone's raiding this, and they get in, and at the end, all the way down here, there's a gap that they're able to crawl through. You don't want them to be able to reach that gap, right? So, instead of being able to run along the edge of the wall like this, if you have a, a gap wall in here, like that or if you're smart and you put two walls up instead of putting one and then putting the high external wall up it'll make it so that they're not able to get through as easily now do you need this no you don't need it at all it's just something that I'm showing you that you are able to do but should you decide to do it it won't hurt you any it's not like uh, placing that extra wall will hinder you in any way shape or form basically just think of it as extra honeycomb so there you have it. Our walls are now completely encased in regular walls, and it's going to be a little bit more difficult to raid. So now we're going to go over here to our base that I have set up. Spectacular base, isn't it? And going to the top, one of two things can happen. Either A, you can get all the floors to go down, or B, you'll only get half. It's because of these spots right here, where these longer posts come up. I'm kind of looking at it with the hammer, those longer posts that prevents you from being able to do it. If you were to place your foundations a little bit higher and have the wall clip a little further into the foundation, you will be able to place the floors. So it's something that you kind of have to watch out for, but I mean, once the foundations and the floors are already placed and the high walls are placed, you're pretty much stuck with it. Now you can go up and above one additional floor, but that's up to you. So looking inside here, you can see our walls are in place. Our high walls are in place. Everything looks good. And I'm on the Bob the Builder server, so I can't use C4 against my own base. Or at least I don't think I can. Let's see if I can. Make up some explosives. And we'll make up some C4. Maybe. Maybe. Where's the C4? Hurry up! Hurry up! Craft! Alright, well, apparently it's not letting me craft C4. Alright, then we're gonna simulate. So we have two C4 and this server. Prime explosive charge is blocked and cannot be crafted. So 2C4, we remove that wall, bam. We get inside here, we look at this and we go, oh shoot, okay, 8C4, bam. Or we could pick it if we want. Get inside here, if I turn these the right way, which I can't now, it'll be an additional 2C4, bam. And we're through. So, not too bad. It's, it's definitely an exploit because you shouldn't be able to place the high walls through the foundations like that. They're basically only able to be placed on the ground and we basically circumvented that. But, you know, it's a very small exploit that could be very useful. In a lot of cases, you can't use it at all. So, I'll let you guys decide as to whether or not it's useful to you. Incorporate it into your build to the best of your abilities if you want to. So, Sergeant Soldier, Brick and Rust. And we'll see you in the next Brick and Rust video. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching Brick and Rust, a series dedicated to exposing bugs, glitches, and exploits in the game of Rust. 
The idea is to get these videos into the hands of game developers as soon as possible, so please share this video to help achieve that. If you know of any bugs you'd like to have featured in an episode, please let me know in the comments below.